All right, peeps. Journey to journaling day three. We're back again. I'm nervous to share this one. Uh, it's uh, as soon as I sat down to write out the prompt, I was like, "This one's going to be this this whole experience for me is just a requiring new levels of vulnerability, which is a really good thing. It's just new. Uh, so it's I know it's good for me, and it's the only way to really do this right. So I'm here for it." Uh, with that said, I appreciate you all. And I, I had some couple people liked the first couple I made, which just, the first one I made, which just felt amazing. So this is actually day three right now. Um, and I'm just gonna get right into it today. <clears throat> so make sure you guys, just a reminder, you have your journal. Again, please write it out. It will feel so much better. Get away from your technology, find a quiet nook, dive in, and just write until there's nothing left to say. I promise you, you will always feel better. You'll always feel more clear. And you'll have some new awareness you can keep in mind moving forward with your life. This is how we move forward. Here it is. What stops me from more success in my life? What stops me from more success in my life? Me. My own fears about being seen as a serious leader. Serious leader meaning someone who a lot of people follow, someone who is at the center of something really special, some, someone who uh, has a lot of influence over people. My insecurities around people watching, connecting, and pay, paying attention to everything I do, even writing this knowing I will soon speak it feels so vulnerable. S success to me is internal peace and contentment paired with living my dreams, desires, and creations. So what stops me? Balancing my timelines, aka where I think I should be with, aka where I think I should be with my lifelines, where I feel good with where I am. I'm gonna read that line again. That one's so important. So what stops me? Balancing my timelines, or where I think I should be, with my lifelines, where I feel good, where I'm at right now. And I made a really incredible podcast episode about this specific topic because of how much of a struggle it has been for me my whole life. Uh, it's called Lifelines. It's about moving past the societal timelines and programming that I have in my mind about what I'm supposed to do at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 with the lifelines, my intuitive life path that has led me here in front of you right now where I'm present, peaceful, powerful, where I feel really good, where even though I feel vulnerable, I also feel empowered. Like that's real. I hope you can see that within me. I feel centered right here. Oh, ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, being impatient with what I desire, rushing or forcing myself to do things I do not want to do. I am proud of myself because I've gotten so much better at this, but I still sometimes catch myself in that familiar overthinking energy that lives in lack and needs more to feel satiated. I'm gonna read that line again. I am proud of myself because I have gotten so much better at this, but I still sometimes catch myself in that familiar overthinking energy that lives in lack and needs more to feel satiated. Whenever I catch myself in that overthinking energy, I know I just need to disconnect, I go for a walk, I go sit somewhere with no technology, I, I literally stop what I'm doing because I know that the overthinking isn't isn't propelling me forward. It's just it's like me sputtering my wheels. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm getting stressed. And uh, where there's where there's chaos, there's there. I should say this: where there's stress, there's no power. Right? Where there's peace, there's power. So when I'm in a peaceful present state, I have power to figure out where I want to go to channel it and move in that direction. But I'm sputtering my wheels. I'm not going anywhere, and I, I struggle with that sometimes. So the overthinking has to go because it's a trap. If I need, I'll never have enough. I do not want to and will not live that way. My success lives in the moments. I am fully present to give and receive, to see my creations manifest, and to be with the energy of transformation. Success visually, financially, societally comes over time. Inner success is my choice. Inner success is my choice. And I choose it now. This video is success, because as insecure as I feel about sharing it, which when I wrote it, I felt, I felt even more insecure. I feel less insecure now, which is good. I feel empowered, because it is who I am. This is who I am, folks. I am a successful man. 
I have a wonderful and successful coaching practice. I have gone my own way and blazed my own trail. I have led many people to a life of presence, peace, and power. And I have a loving relationship with God and all of its wonders. Only I stand in the way of more of that success. When I take life too seriously and lose sight of who I am, where I am, and what I am, it happens more often than I like, but less often than it used to. I am content with the progress and thankful for my commitment to the path. Thanks, Graham, for having the courage to share this message. Feel your success now and always. Love, Graham. And then I wrote this, which really was like amazing. Some of you might get it, some of you might not. Some of you will get it later, that's fine. The only thing that stops me from success is losing presence of this moment where I know for a pretend world where I don't. I'm gonna read that one more time. The only thing that stops me from success is losing presence of this moment where I know for a pretend world where I don't. Boom. Legends find a way. Damn. That feels good. Feels in here. Feels a little bit in here. Uh, I'm just really thankful for this series. It's changed my life. <laughs> so I'm sure it could change yours. Uh, the reflection today. What stops me from success? More success in my life. You might want to define success for you. I have a podcast episode on that. I'll link it in the bio. There's one about lifelines. I'll link that in the bio. Really go into this. Uh, what stops me from more success in my life? If you can get clarity on what success is to you, why you have it, why you don't, and just create more clarity in your life, you will have more opportunity to create more paths forward for more of that. Um, and for me, just to read that last line, the only thing that stops me from success is losing presence of this moment. Like this moment is where I'm powerful. I'm aware, I know who I am, I know where I'm going, nothing can stop me, I'm inevitable. All the things that I've taught myself, all the things I know about myself to be true are here right now. As soon as I start thinking about where I'm not, what I haven't done, where I haven't gone, what needs to be accomplished, I'm losing all of my presence and I'm giving it away. And as soon as I do that, I'm now I'm stuck trying to figure out how to get there instead of sitting into the knowingness of how I know I'm getting there. Uh, and some of you again might get it, some of you won't, but. Yeah, my success lives in the moments I am fully present to give and receive, to see my creations manifest. This has just been such an enlightening reflection for me. Uh, and I really hope that it, it helped you guys and opened up you to some new ideas. And I, I really hope that you take this, take this one and roll with it. Uh, write as many pages as you need to, but be honest with yourself. It feels so good. And I'm getting stronger and I'm getting more confident in myself and I'm more comfortable being in front of you now speaking these things and I had many realizations this morning of, of, of what my life is going to continue to look like as I share more of who I am with you which is something that all of my clients know about me uh, and my close people in my life but not so much everyone else and uh, everyone else meaning I am I'm comfortable being seen I am comfortable being seen I am comfortable being seen Presence, peace, and power be with you all. Legends find a way. Uh, I don't have anywhere for you to go right now after this, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can start there. I post a lot of cool stuff uh, and who I am, and you know, there's infinite ways to get involved in the Leaders of Legends community and what I'm doing, and you can find yourself through that door. So, appreciate you all. Have a fantastic day. Shaking for me today. Good job, Graham. Way to go, dude. I know this isn't easy for you. Uh, but you're doing an excellent job. And I just hope that all of you um, can find the relationship that I've learned to cultivate with yourself because I mean, it just feels so good to be okay with who I am and not judge myself for being an emotional person or being, being afraid or have fear about um, sharing who I am because it's, it's, it's deep, <laughs> very, I am deep. <laughs>